Hi everybody, thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to go over some of the directions that you see for your 11.1 .1 lab activity. At the top of the page, you'll see some information that you should already know. In the picture, if there's a 32 degrees Celsius hand that comes in contact with cooler water, then the kinetic energy or the heat in the hand is going to transfer out of the hand into the water. When a heat transfer takes place, the amount of heat lost by one object is always equal to the amount of heat gained by the other object. The symbol used to represent heat is lowercase q. So if you reference the picture above, the heat lost by the hand is going to be equal to the heat gained by the water. If you wanted to represent this mathematically, you could say q sub hand equals q sub water, meaning if the hand loses a thousand energy units, the water is then going to gain a thousand energy units. So there's only one thing still missing, and that is when you write one of these Q equals Q expressions, you also have to include a negative sign that indicates the direction that the heat is flowing. The convention we use in science is that the negative sign should always be listed next to the object that is losing heat. In our example of the hand in the water, the hand is the one that is giving its heat to the water. So you'll see that the negative sign is written with Q sub hand. In the following experiments, you'll be asked to write similar expressions for a variety of observed scenarios. Have fun.